What's up guys, it's Jack here and today we're going to be going over how I hit 1900 designs on Redbubble in just 4 months. Yes, 4 months. So not only do I want to go over how I hit 1900 designs, but I also want to show you um, really just my mindset and my thought processing on my daily routines and I want to tell you why I'm doing these things. So if you want to know more about that and you want to know not just how I got there, but what I do every day specifically, stay tuned because I'm going to cover that in this video. But before we get into the juicy content, I got to ask for one thing, and that is to leave a like on the video only if you have enjoyed it or you enjoy it in a couple minutes. So this all started back in August when I was not in school. I am now in school. So all of August, my routine is a little bit different. Uh, as to what it is now but going all the way back to August basically my routine is to launch my computer look at my desktop and see that you know I got a lot of work to do right I actually have a list a notes list over there on the other on my other monitor that basically just says what I have to do some motivational quotes and then every day or every other day whenever I really need it I go over to this list that says I am and I read some affirmations I know this may be cheesy to you, but to me, um, practicing these things, saying them out loud helps me a lot to keep me going and pushing forward every day. Because honestly, to me, doing something every day is really the hard part is sticking to it every day. And I think that's what really makes, um, that's what makes things progress in the long run is actually doing something towards your goals every single day, not just when you feel like it, which is hard sometimes. And that's why I have things to guide me through those harder or more doubtful days where I don't want to do things. These notes and lists of affirm affirmations really help me. So if you guys have any trouble with that, I definitely recommend something like affirmations or motivational videos, but ones that actually motivate you in the long run, not just at that moment. Or basically motivational videos that help you adapt a more positive mindset or a long term mindset. Now, in terms of print on demand, I actually don't start working on print on demand until about usually six or seven every day because when I wake up at 5 a.m., that's when I wake up, um, I usually go get a coffee and then I come back downstairs to my room. So after I get my coffee and I get settled, I usually check up on my email and stuff, but I usually actually write a affiliate marketing website post. So I work on my affiliate marketing website for about an hour and a half every morning and then once I'm done working on my website I will go to making print on demand designs and I try to shoot for or I every day I hit 20 designs or more usually 20 22 somewhere around there and I make designs and that usually takes me upwards of an hour depending on what niche I'm doing depending on if I'm you know kind of reusing designs making a couple variants depends on the day but usually it's about an hour that's what I like to give the time frame for and then I will go and work on a YouTube video and this is how I get my YouTube videos out every day right now I'm actually just finished making 20 designs and then I'm making this video and once I made this video posted it edited it all that goodness made the thumbnail I end up in going to post my designs to sites like Redbubble and whatever wherever else and then I usually Right now, fill up my slots on T Public because I can do 50 a day and I have not all my designs up over there. I just post all my designs to T Public. But yeah, my routine is pretty simple. Basically, I wake up early and I get all the things I need to do out of the way before noon. And usually, my whole process takes about anywhere from four to six hours, depending on how slow I am. It could even be three hours. It also depends on what type of video I make for you guys and how I'm really doing with editing if I'm trying to go very in depth that day or if I'm just trying to make a talk to the camera and not really show you anything on the other screen type of video it depends on that too but in terms of print on demand and making designs my whole process is really just having a routine down to make a consistent amount of designs every day and that's really what matters the most is consistency so if you can find some time in your day either wake up early or maybe go to bed a bit later or maybe not watch that Netflix show 
or put the Netflix show on the other monitor and make designs while you're watching the Netflix show. I do that too. But you can make designs and then you can even have a routine that you make designs on one day and the next day you post them. So if you don't have tons of time, you can still make time somewhere. And that's really how you get to a lot of designs every day is consistency. So 20 designs every day for a week is 140 designs. So looking back now, four months, there's been days where I do more than 20 designs. So in four months, I really started getting into this routine come September when school came around and I really had other responsibilities. So I had to get my stuff together. I had to get focused on when I'm going to do these designs, when I'm going to put them out, when I'm going to post them. So really having a routine that you can stick to is so important to getting to large number of designs and making large numbers of sales really and progress on print on demand. It's just consistency, posting designs, good designs, great designs, lots of designs. It's really just about having time in your day to work on your print on demand business and then you'll be able to build up your designs in a short amount of time. They might feel long, but it's actually not that long. I'm actually so impressed with myself. It's only been four months and I've already gotten so far. If you go back five months, I didn't even know what print on demand was. So things are really kicking off and I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, please leave a like and really, I don't have much to show you for today. I'm sorry. This video was kind of just me talking, but well, I think it's still useful and I hope you guys enjoyed. One last thing before you guys go, I just want to recommend a design tool for people who aren't very good at designing. It's the one I use every single day, and that's placeit.net. The link down in the description will guide you to placeit.net. It's actually my affiliate link, so it does help me too. But with that being said, I hope you guys enjoyed the video, and I'll see you guys in the next video.